Similar triangles are neat things to look at and actually if you know that you have got two similar triangles you can calculate angles, you can calculate sides and so on by just looking at the ratios of sides or by looking at angles. Now similar triangles are different from congruent triangles and I'm going to explain what congruent triangle is and then we're going to look at similar triangles and do some examples. Congruent triangles are exactly the same triangle so you'll have a triangle here, a triangle there and they'll be exactly the same, they have exactly the same size of, of sides, same length of sides and also the same size of angles for every corresponding angle. So they may be rotated, something like this, but they still are the same. Now similar triangles mean that you have two triangles whose ratios of sides are all equal and all the angles are equal. So the corresponding angles are equal, but you may have a triangle that's really tiny and then another one that's really much bigger, but it's the same ratio and has the same angles is just a bigger version of that smaller triangle. Those are called similar because they're not exactly the same but they're very similar. They're just a different size. So let's look at two similar triangles. These are similar and um, I'm stating that right now that they are similar and the way that you write similar is that you use sort of a squiggly line instead of an equal line and similar triangles so first of all what the way you determine whether how you name these two triangles is that you start here and I'm going to do it sort of A, B, C in alphabetical order. You could do B, A, C, whatever you want, but make sure that when you name this triangle that you have the proper corresponding triangle to go with it. So I'm going to start with triangle, here I'll move over here, triangle A, B, C is similar to, now the way that you determine, and this is the key to similar triangles, if you can get this right, then everything else works out nicely. If you get this wrong, nothing works. So what you want to do then is use, if you, I labeled it A, B, C on the vertex, vertices, then you look at the angles in A, B, C, so it goes A, B, C. So I want to go over to this triangle and find the angles A, B, C. Hmm. Now I've actually written them almost the same so that you can see it and it's really obvious. Sometimes it's not because these triangles could be rotated, they could be rotated along here, they could be rotated any, in many different ways, they could be flipped and you have to be able to recognize that. So again, A, B, C. So A goes with D, so you say it's similar to D, B goes with E, and C goes with F. And that's how you name that these two triangles are similar, right? You always have to look at the angles and have them corresponding to those vertices and the labels of the vertices and you know that you've got the same A, B, C. If this happened to be an A and this was a C, then you would be naming it like this instead. So I just want to make sure that you understand that. Okay, so now you know how to name that two triangles are similar, you know how to do it properly, so you've got the corresponding sides there now. Now let's look at the corresponding sides. If you have triangle A, B, C is equal to tri uh, similar sorry, to triangle D, E, F, then that means side A, B is going to be corresponding to side D, E. Notice they're in the same order. That's why we put these in the proper order, these vertices. So you say corresponding sides, well A, B will be corresponding then to D, E. So A, B will correspond, and I'm going to put a, actually a ratio to D, E, all right? And that, which is interesting, that ratio will equal to the corresponding sides of B, C, so B, C is the next one to E, F, E, F. So that ratio would be B, C to E, F would be the same as A, B to D, E. And finally, the last sides, A, that would also equal A, C to D, F. And all those ratios equal to each other. So let's, let's prove that. First of all, and this is part of what uh, 
similar triangle is all about is that the corresponding sides, the ratio of the corresponding sides are all equal and the angles are all equal. That is what similar triangle is. So AB to DE, AB is 9 and DE is 15. So if you notice, if you reduce that, then what you've got is you divide by 3 and you get 3 to 5. And that's the ratio of AB to DE. Let's look at the next ratio. BC whoops, to EF. BC is 18. EF is 30. They're both divisible by 6. 18 divided by 6 is 3. 30 divided by 6 is 5. Hmm, same ratio, which is what it should be if these are similar triangles. And let's check the last one, and then that will prove, be a good proof that the fact that this really is a similar triangle. And, um, and that one would be 21 to 35. And again, divide by 7, and you get 3 to 5. So the fact that all the sides are the corresponding sides are of the same ratio, shows that it is a similar triangle. Also, all the angles are the same, which shows it's also a similar triangle. They're not exactly the same because obviously these sides are a different length, so they're not congruent, but they are similar because the ratios of the corresponding sides are equal and the corresponding angles are equal. There's your cor there there's your similar triangle. Now let's use that idea over here with an example. Now this first example has two corresponding or two similar triangles and it states that, that these are similar. So you need to work with that. And if you know that ABC is similar to DEF, then you know that this A, um, for sorry, the A it has the C, and I, I've switched around some of the letters just so you don't get stuck on the fact that A goes with A. I want you to start looking at what's happening here. So this goes with this. So notice then that A, B, C, A, you look C, A, A, B corresponds to D, E, which it shows there as well. So you want A, B to D, E as your first one. And that is equal to, so AB is 8 to DE is Y. Hmm. Okay. Now, if you took the BC, AB here and AB here, BC to EF, you know BC is 11, EF is 22. Now, what you can do is because you need to find out what y is and what you can do is you can say well then this converting this to a fraction you know that 8 to y would have to equal 11 to 22 because remember back there I said that the corresponding sides have the equivalent or it's the same ratios so if that's true then let's just flip these around because you know that 8 to y is y to 8, so therefore, 11, like if you flip that, then as long as this y stays with this 22, y to 22 is equal to 8 to 11. So um, let's just switch them around. y to 22 is equal to 8 to 11, and that just makes it easier for calculations. So y is equal to 22 divided by 11 times 8, and that would be 16. So now you found out what y is. Now the next task for this question is to find out what x is. So what you'll want to do is look at, well, what, what side does this correspond to? Well, FD is BC, so you look at BC, that's, that corresponds to the CB. So let's do FD to BC to CA, CA would be equal to, and I'm going to use this one again, because notice BC to EF has both of those numbers in it, and I can just use them. I know that they're given, so I'm going to use FE to BC. You know that though that ratio of those two is equal to the ratio of that, so FD is X 
to CA is 5, and that equals FE is 22, BC is 11, so X is equal to 22 divided by 11 times 5, and that's 2 times 5, which is 10. And that's what you needed to find out here. Knowing that they're similar triangles, you can calculate then what those sides are. All right, so corresponding sides gives you an idea as to what ratios to set up, and then you just do your algebra to, to finish off. The next one, this next example here, all you have to find out for this one is what two triangles are, how, how do you name these triangles so that you can show that they actually are congruent? Now, just because it happens to have a 15 here and this has a 15 here, doesn't mean that these sides are congruent or sorry, are equal. They, these sides are not equal necessarily unless these two angles that are on either side are equal. Well, this one has a PQ and this one has a QR. So they're not, they're not the same corresponding side. Just because they're the same number, they're not the same corresponding side. So let's name this the corresponding or the similar triangles properly. ABC, PQR is similar to, and you want to do PQR. So P is D, Q is E, and R is F. So those are the two similar triangles. Don't just assume they go around in the same direction, this one in the opposite direction. And then from there, you know corresponding sides, AB to DE, BC and EF, and you can figure out the rest. That is similar triangles.